Okay, this is a video about the Aquatic Design Centre. Um, originally, it used to be in Great Portland Street, near Oxford Street. And I kept going there and the shop was closed. And I thought they had just closed down. But then um, I had to look at the notice and then I realised when I kept looking on Google, it kept referencing a different area. So then I thought I'd go and check it out. And I found out that what's actually happened is that they've actually moved to a different area. Um, so I found out where they were. I've been to have a look and this is what I found. So, I've had a look around, um, we're now in the marine section and they've got so much more room than they had before. The place is huge, there's just tanks everywhere and uh, there's just so much to see, a lot to take in in, in the, the small amount of time that I was there. There's, they've got pretty much every coral um, that I could think of not that I can think of loads of corals anyway but certainly all the ones that we would normally see in any average reef tank Um, 
Is going well. It's almost time to get them in the tank. Okay, the cleanup crew are in. Don't know why they're hanging around on each other's back, so that's a bit weird. We'll see how they settle down. Looks like they've started to get to work already. Do you know, I've always wondered how starfish move around, and I was lucky enough to catch. Um, this one, um, as he was crawling up uh, one of my temperature probes, um, and I could see actually that they actually had lots of small little legs, almost like a caterpillar. And also on their skin, they seem to have um, like photosensitive cells that can actually sense uh, changes in light and darkness. So th these are things that I didn't know before. Um, so I've learned something new today. <laughs> 